Hey, 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 Mary Ann here, the Crotchety Clogger. Thanks for joining me today. Today's Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. I almost said 22. <laughs> getting there, I'm getting there. Um, but I just wanted to stop by real quick uh, from the car because I am at work today. But I uh, wanted to stop by real quick just to show you uh, what's new in my Etsy shop, okay? We have a few new stitch markers and row counters to show you. If I haven't shown you already, some of you may have seen them. But anyway, first of all, here's some stitch markers that I um, wish we'd focus. Uh, that I made up, and this is also um, repurposed from the... First Friday uh, thing or fourth Friday choice that you guys made. This was repurposed from that as well uh, with some little, they're not real pearls, I'm sure, and some agate beads on top and bottom along with some silver seed beads. And these are with the circular lever back clasps. You can, they are hypoallergenic. All my uh, stitch markers are, and you can use them for earrings as well because they're hypoallergenic. And here's another pair. I have so many of these beautiful uh, turquoise seed beads. And I think they go well with these uh, brown ones. And they're all wooden. Even the turquoise ones are wooden. And of course the little brass, brassy looking um, seed beads on top and bottom. And on this one we have the the coppery looking or brassy looking uh, clasps to go with that. There we go. Okay, those are the two newest of the stitch markers. There's a few other pair in the shop too. And I've also relisted a couple of things that had were taken out or sold out. So I've relisted some of these, made some more up. And this is um, an agate uh, stone. And we've got some hand painted Picasso stones here in a pretty kind of corally, different colors. And these are wood. These are glass, the Picasso ones, and these are wooden. The pretty light stain that goes well with the coral, I thought. Here's your um, lobster clasp um, multiples tracker. I think this is called the peachy, sort of a peachy coral, peachy agate row counter in the shop, I think. And then I relisted this one, which is called Freedom and Peace. Uh, freedom, I felt, is signified by the charm that's on the um, multiples tracker, the caged bird. Kind of was thinking of Maya Angelou's book, Let the Cage Bird, or The Cage Bird Sings. And so far as freedom goes, and then peace, of course, which is really a no war symbol, but it's what we know of as the peace symbol. And these are all wooden beads on this 10, ab 10 bead abacus with a sort of a creamy colored wooden bead and a turquoise wooden bead, right? And our, our bird keeps wanting to go backwards. There we go. All right. And then... This one is new. This is a, um, I think it's called Purple Hearts. I actually did repurpose some earrings that had like a long, it was about four of them, four of the hearts, one at like kind of like that, but on each earring. But I thought they were, I got the earrings for a couple of bucks at a discount store and thought they would be pretty to make a row counter out of. And I used some, now these purple glass beads you see here, these ones, they are glass. And now these are just glittery plastic or, you know, they're not real anything, but still pretty. And here's your multiples tracker with a simple purple glittery heart on there. And the stone, the uh, beads on this abacus, the white ones are wood. The purple ones are Picasso, hand painted Picasso. All right, there's that one. That's kind of new. And then our other newest one, some of you may have seen, was the repurposed one with the fish, sterling silver fish charm, and some agate stones. This was repurposed from the necklace of our first and fourth Friday 
was chosen on fourth Friday and I showed it to you on first Friday. And then we had a winner for one of the ones that I, that I made out of that necklace. And then here's your multiples tracker, but they're beautiful agate. Uh, pretty sure they're agate stones, but they are nice. And then on the abacus beads, we have wooden silver beads and the green ones are glass. They're kind of a, a jady sea green, if you will. But those are the latest things in the Etsy shop. So I hope you'll join um, or go check it out and see if there's anything you like. Now, one thing I do like to mention is that on the stitch markers, they the cost of them are $4 for a pair. But if you use the code, hoy vey, I think it's the number four, F-O-R, and the number six, four, F-O-R, six, you'll get two pair for $6 instead of eight. So you get a little bit of a, a discount, a $2 discount with two pair. But of course you have to have two pair of stitch markers in your cart in order to apply the code. Okay, um, another piece of news, uh, come January 29th, it will be my three-year uh, tubiversary or three-year anniversary here on YouTube. And so I'm trying to plan a little something. If anybody has any suggestions, that would be great. Um, I do have some things that I have purchased along the way for the last maybe six to nine months to put in a giveaway. So I will be definitely doing that. Um, the 29th is on a Sunday but I thought maybe I'd do some kind of celebration the Thursday before during my live stream. So that would be 26th, 7th, 8th, Yes, I think that would be the 26th of January. So um, suggestions are uh, welcome um, and uh, just be looking for something to happen <laughs> that at this probably the last Thursday of the month. So uh, yeah, I am kind of um shocked that <laughs> it's been three years already you know um but i certainly have enjoyed it and i must say i i began it at a very good time because it was january 29th of 2020 and as we all know it didn't take long after that before we were all hunkered down at home and i was so very grateful at that point that i had you guys you know, or that I that had been meeting you guys and getting to know you, and it just it helped so many of us, right? Having having craft to do and um, sharing each other's crafts with each other here on YouTube, it was um, it really did help us out a lot. It still does, but especially during that time, right? Okay, so pretty soon I got to get back to work, so I'll say goodbye and I'll see you very soon. Thanks, bye everybody.